Thank you for the presentation, uh, Pixel Virtual Studio team. Uh, the next presentation is GLISP, Lisp-based graphic design tool. Please welcome Baku Hashimoto. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'm Baku Hashimoto, and I'm a visual artist in Tokyo. Uh, today, I'd like to introduce uh, my personal project to develop graphic design tool. So before diving to demonstration, uh, let me explain my background briefly. Um, I'm working as a video director and have made a CGI or uh, stop motion and graphics and so on. And every time I make something, uh, I always try to make a tool to re realize uh, new techniques for videos. But I come to feel that uh, we need more radically programmable design tool for artists so that uh, they can create a function for themselves um, to fit their own purpose or aesthetics. That's why I began this project. So anyway, um, I'm gonna show you some of the um, prototype from now. The first one is programmable image editor, uh, which I personally call it programmable Photoshop directly. Ah, sorry, this is not the second one. Yeah, this is a workspace running on the browser, and like Photoshop, uh, you can draw, or you can use a eraser tool, or yeah, manipulate the pixels uh, visually. But the difference is that uh, on, from the right pane, uh, you can um, control or implement the behavior of these tools uh, pro programmatically using this GLSL code. So by using this feature, maybe you can recreate uh, conventional tools that uh, you might be familiar with your popular software that you're using, but the essence of my project is that um, you can create uh, completely weird and unseen tools that have never been before. So um, I'd like to try some of my tools that I have implemented before. So let's take an example. Uh, yeah. This one is nice, my nails. Yeah, this is a marble brushes, which deforms graphics beautiful. I, I think it's beautiful. And this is a pixel sorting brushes, uh, which just sorting the pixels based on its luminance and make a beautiful gradation. And this one is smooth tool, like this. Or maybe this is one of my favorite things, which just stretches pixels, just like a stripe. Uh, usually, this kind of feature tends to be hard-coded to uh, the application, but I wanted to make it uh, something like user-definable to allow a lot of possibility for aesthetics. Uh, by the way, I made this key visual with this my prototype. Okay, so let's move on next. Uh, with this way of thinking, I also try to make a vector drawing tool, such as just like an illustrator. And the workspace is like this. And yeah, maybe you can draw a doodle -doo or a stroke. But it's just a pencil tool, and it's boring and too pragmatic. So I want to make it something like more uh, unpredictable and random. So from here, uh, we can add a custom parameter for the tool. So I'd say uh, I'd add our parameter, and then, well, low battery. Press the applet. Now you can see the new parameter from in the inspector, and you can change the value from the GUI. Then, okay, I'll try a little more, bit more programming. Uh, one done, times two, one. 
Gosh. Okay. So let's see how does it look like. Set the color to royal blue. Now you can see the stroke is wiggling randomly. But it's too much random, and I want to make something like more straight or rigid line to draw a diagram. So I would say it might be better to um, quantize the mass coordinate by implementing this. Okay, I'm really nervous. Okay, so let's see the result. I think this should work. This is a color to tomato. Now you can see the corner of this stroke is snapped to the lattice point of canvas. And I want to make something more and detail and unique style. So I just add a circle and stroke color. Yeah, I think this should work like this. Maybe, I don't know uh, how we can use it for that. Maybe it might be better to draw something like bus stop map. Yeah, like this, we can create uh, uh, any, anything you want to. So just like a rectangle or circle and visit, cubic visit too, but it's too boring. So I implemented some of more unique tools like this spray and this graph and triangle shape and this. And I think you might wonder that how useful can it be in your daily job or work and me either at the time. But using, uh, while using this weird tool for now nine hours, I come to feel like this tool uh, becoming a part of my body and started to be able to control it. So using this tool, um, I draw these graphics finally. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite graphics uh, that I made this year. So conclusion, uh, my attitude for tool making is can be said like this. Uh, I won't read it as there's no enough time anymore. So <laughs> let's move on next. Uh, recently, uh, I've been making a new prototype, which I call GLISP. Uh, in GLISP, uh, we use a program code written in a Lisp as a project file itself, but I think this is quite a radical approach to bring a programmability into our uh, daily design process, but it's kind of hard for me to explain the detailed concept within this eight minutes, so I'd, I'd like to conclude my presentation at that moment. So, yeah, I'd, like, I'd appreciate if you get interested in me in my project. Thank you so much for your time.